Hey everyone, welcome to this video. I'm Inkslaura123 and this is going to be a little shopping haul video. So I hope you enjoy watching and if you do, please click like, comment, share and subscribe to my channel. That would be awesome. Okay, so today I had to go out and post some eBay parcels and uh, yeah, whilst I was out, I nipped into Poundland and WH Smith and a little corner shop near where I live as well. And that was it, really. Not much of a shopping experience, but, you know, it's better than nothing. Um, so, yeah, this isn't like a massive shopping haul. I've only got a few bits and pieces to show you, but, hey, it's still a shopping haul. Okay, so, uh, yeah, let's get started. Right, we're going to start with some naughty stuff. And we all like a little bit of naughty stuff, a little sweet treat. This is Dairy Milk Caramel. Nom, nom, nom. I absolutely freaking love caramel. Uh, so I treated myself uh, for a pound to this big mega bar. Whoa. Now, before anyone says, oh my God, it's really bad for you. Oh my God, like, don't eat that. I'm not going to eat it all in one hit. I'm going to make this last for a good few days. Just have a little couple of squares a day, a little bit of a sweet treat. Um, and let me know in the comment section down below if you also adore caramel. Dairy milk caramel is just like... Oh, so good. Anyway, so I've got that. Okay, now sometimes in Poundland, they have some really good books. Now, sometimes the books are a bit naff and I'm like, oh, okay. Um, but sometimes, as I say, there are some really decent books for like an amazing price, a pound. Like literally they sell books for a pound. Bargain. Anyway, so this is a brand new book um, that, as you can see, obviously, brand new. And originally it would have been like 13 quid. So I got it for a pound. It's a thriller and it's a hardback. It's called The Ice... Beneath Her by Camilla Greeby, is that? Or Greeb? I don't know how to say her name, sorry. Um, and it says here, look, to keep you up all night, guaranteed to keep you up all night, which is the sort of books I love. I love reading thrillers and I love books that make me like stay up and think about it and read it and like, eh, just another chapter kind of thing. So yeah, I read about this one and I was like, oh my God, this sounds my cup of tea. So really quickly, um, I'll just read it to you here. A young woman is found beheaded in a business tycoon's marble-lined hallway. Um, Jesper Ori, I think that is, Jesper Ori, uh, the scandal-ridden CEO of the retail chain Clothes and More has vanished. Who is the dead woman? And who is the brutal killer who wielded the machete? Uh, rewind two months to meet Emma Bowman, uh, a sales assistant for Clothes and More, whose life is turned upside down by a chance encounter with Jesper Ori, or I don't know, uh, <laughs> insisting that their love affair is kept secret. He shakes Emma's world a second time when he suddenly leaves her with no explanation. As frightening things begin to happen to Emma, she suspects Jesper is responsible. But why does he want to hurt her and how far would he go to silence his secret lover? Oh my God. Uh, it says here that it's a gripping and deeply disturbing psychological thriller about love, betrayal and obsession, fast paced and people with compelling characters I think that sounds good, right? It does sound good. And a hardback book for a pound, like, come on, that's amazing. So really happy with that one. Okay, next up, I got this sparkly hat. Look at this hat. Now, I don't know about you, but I absolutely love wearing hats, especially when my hair is like a complete mess. And I just want to go out and I'm like, you know what, I can't bother to do my hair. I'll just put a hat on, easy, done. Um, and this is just so freaking beautiful. It's, if I said freaking again, Sorry. Um, it's just so nice. Like, look how sparkly. It's like a lovely, like, dark red colour. And it's, like, sparkly. And it's just beautiful. And it's really thin as well. It's not like some of those hats are, like, really thick. But this one's quite thin, which I like. Um, so, yeah, I got this for a pound. Bargain. Okay, so... <laughs> I made a little bit of a mistake with this one, but I'll, I'll tell you the story really quickly. Basically, um, Poundland are now doing their Valentine's section, which is awesome. I love Valentine's Day. I know a lot of you hate Valentine's and stuff, but I, you know, I'm a very slushy, romantic person. I do love a bit of Valentine's. Um, so yeah, they had their Valentine's stuff out. I had a look round and I saw this and I've never seen this before. It's a bicycle pizza cutter. And for a moment, I was like, why is this in the, you know, Valentine's stuff? I mean, obviously it's red, but like, what's romantic about pizza car? But um, I thought, you know, pizza, 
couples have pizza. I don't know. But I just thought it was really cool because it looked like a bike and it cuts pizza. <laughs> and I thought like Nathan would love this. So um, yeah, I got it home and I showed him what I bought, bought and stuff. I was like, look, this is supposed to be for Valentine's, but it's not really slushy. Like, do you just want it as a gift now? And he he didn't really look that impressed. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't really shout there. He didn't really look that impressed. I was like, Okay, like he's like, oh, thank you and all that, like being polite. But really, I could tell he was like, yeah, no, I don't really want that, to be fair. Um, we've already got pizza cut up. But I thought it was really cool. However, there is, uh, you know, a good news here coming. Um, I did look on eBay and they're selling really well. So I'm going to pop this on eBay. So if you're watching and after a bicycle pizza cutter, um, yeah, they're selling really well. So, yeah, sorry, Nathan. It's going on eBay. Well, he's not sorry. He didn't want it anyway. But, yeah, hopefully I'll make a little bit of a profit from that on the old ebay right next up hold on upside down there we go i got this mini pack mix of different biscuits perfect on the go so um yeah some of these are for me some are for nathan some are for mum we can kind of fight over who gets what I'm trying to think of my favorites digestives are my favorites um mum likes the fruit shorty things i don't like those um Mm, ginger rings, chocolate creams. So yeah, these are 10 packs, different biscuits. I think it's good for a pound. Thank you, Poundland, for naughty, naughty biscuits. Um, then, then I've got a box of Lemsip, and don't worry, they weren't open when I bought them. I opened them when I got home. Me and Nathan are just feeling a little bit groggy. Um, so yeah, I use my black currant Lemsip because I prefer the taste of them, but he he liked um, the Breathe Easy ones, like lemon flavour. So yeah, picked up a box of Lemsip, Cold and flu, breathe easy from Poundland. Um, what else have I got in here? Just delving into this bag. Sorry. Ah, this looks so cool. This little pack from Model Zone. Uh, so, yeah, this was in Poundland. And you get two, I think they're two lipsticks. Look at the colour of these packaging, though. Like, I love that kind of pinky, orangey packaging colour. But anyway, so, yeah, you get a matte lipstick. Oh, two matte lipsticks. And um, one's like a jumbo stick. One's just like a normal lipstick size. But... Yeah, I love that. And I like the idea that it's a jumbo stick. I've got a few other lipsticks that jumbo stick. So, yeah. I just thought it was cool. There you go. Look at that colour. Like a really, like, dark red. It's just gorgeous. So, two for a pound. Bargain. Right, next up. This is a real random selection, by the way, of things. Pom-pom lights. <laughs> Pom-pom lights. Um, so, yeah, basically, I've noticed a lot of YouTubers that I watch have these, like, nice little pretty fairy lights and stuff behind them when they're filming. Um, and not just at Christmas time, by the way, like, throughout the year. And uh, I saw these for a pound, and I just thought, oh, my God, these are so adorable. Look, they're like little pom-poms. They're all fluffy. You're fluffy. Um, and yeah, as you can see, the light kind of goes above them. And I thought I could just like hang them up behind me sometimes and they might look pretty. We'll see. I just need to put some um, some batteries in them because obviously they they don't work without the batteries. Now, these I've already opened because I've just filmed an ASMR video for my other channel. Um, that's why there's no packaging because I've opened them. But anyway, um, I found these in the party section. And what, what happened was I saw them and it gave me this like random idea uh, for an ASMR roleplay video. So what it is, it's um, like divorce theme, like divorce party themed straws. Uh, you've got one like happy, happily divorced party time, free, free at last. I don't know why that made me laugh, but free at last. Um, finally free, finally done. And thank you, next. Thank you, next. Um, and I just thought that what a good idea. And I, I'd never seen a, an ASMR role play of, of like getting you ready for a divorce party. So I've just literally filmed that video. I've got to edit it later. Um, and I use these straws in it and blah, blah, blah. By the way, check out Minx Laura, one, two, three, ASMR by the YouTube channel. Link is down below. Um, and yeah, I just think, you know, divorce parties, like, are so popular nowadays. Like, a lot of people have them. And it's, you know, I'd not, I, I basically did a search and I couldn't find any other ASMR divorce party roleplay. Um, so I was like, right, got to keep being new, got to keep using my initiative, be unique and, you know. Um, and if people moan at me in advance, like, I'm already worrying. If people moan at me and be like, oh, you shouldn't celebrate divorce. But look, why not? Like, if people aren't happy and they, you know, move on and, and start the new future kind of thing and, and the new you, why shouldn't you have a party and celebrate the end, you know? Like, all right, it's sad, but it's also like, let's look, to, you know, to the future. Anyway, I'm getting all defensive for my, my video that even hasn't even gone on yet, but you have to think in advance. Okay, next up. 
Um, completely different from uh, divorce straws. I got this. Uh, it's called a smashy mashy. Um, part of me is tempted to keep it for myself because you know I like all cute toy things. But I think they are selling reasonably well on eBay. It's obviously it's brand new, so I might I might sell it on eBay. Um, I think it's just like a little toy squishy thing. I don't know. There's all like liquid in it as well. Can you see that liquid? Like what is that? It's like goopy stuff I have no idea but I'm probably gonna pop this on eBay you get like different mystery um like characters and stuff I think it's that little shark or something a shark with a cap on so what I mean though the characters do look really cool so part of me is like mm, should I keep it I don't know it might go on eBay I might keep it I'm not sure yet right anyway I'm blabbering next up <laughs> Jaffa cakes eight zingy orange cake bars now, look, I've been honest with you. I've had some comments lately from a few people, not loads and loads, just a few odd comments. And they're like, oh, my God, you know, for example, I did the Iceland shopping haul the other day, groceries, and people were saying, uh, you know, about, oh, Nathan doesn't eat healthy. Because, like, some of the stuff is like, I don't know, whatever, sausage rolls and, you know, turkey this, turkey that. But, or, or you know, they've seen my sweet shop roll, um halls and stuff and they've seen chocolate bars etc and you know they keep like making these comments like oh you shouldn't be eating this that's bad for you that's fattening and blah 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 my view is right do not judge what other people eat it's nothing to do with you at all um look at what you're eating judge yourself eat what you want and we'll eat what we want you know what some of it isn't healthy but some of it is you know, we're not just going to live on lettuce leaves and, and, and veg. You know, we like a little sweet treat. And everything's going on in the world right now. Like the, <laughs> I think we need a little bit of a break by having, like, I don't know, a Jaffa cake zingy bar. So please, like, by all means, have your opinion and think, what well, you know, a bunch of greedy pigs buying all the naughty food. Keep it to yourself. Just think that, whatever's, and worry about what you're eating and about your weight and not us. Okay, that's that out my system. Love it. Next up, I've got some uh, foundation. Just simply back to the video. Um, yeah, I've got this foundation to use in ASMR Roleplay on the other channel. Um, I've got this idea for a video. I'm not going to tell you what it is because anyone steals it. Um, but yeah, it's going to be a makeup themed ASMR video. And I needed some foundation for it. And also I picked up these um, for an ASMR video I've got planned. I'm doing like a group collab with uh, quite awesome ASMR creators as well we've got some great people involved in this collab and it's all to do with like light triggers like torch light and glow sticks and flames and stuff like that um and yeah Sebastian ASMR who's, who's really lovely he's in in the collab with me I've known him for so many years now and he suggested in his section he's going to use some glow sticks and I was like oh that's a good idea um so I thought in my section I could also use glow sticks by the way that's not all fine I'm going to tell him I'm using them I'm not just going to copy him uh, <laughs> but like I'm going to use a torch and glow sticks so yeah, I just picked these up from Poundland. And also, they're just handy to have in the house, you know. Just, you know, if you ever need a little bit of light, you know, just have some glow sticks. But yeah, I'm really excited about that uh, collab because it's going to be great. Right, listen, I've got some more makeup stuff here. This is uh, something I really, really need. This is uh, a bag of makeup sponges. You get 24 different shapes, sizes uh, of makeup sponges. I love these. They're so great, especially in videos when I'm doing makeup role plays or on myself when I put my makeup on and stuff. Um, so, yeah, got a bag of those. And also, I got some socks. I got some socks uh, because, you know, who doesn't need socks, right? Uh, this is a pack. Uh, oh, five pairs. I didn't realize that. I thought it was a pack of three. It's a pack of five. It's even better. Um, yes, it's like kind of leopard printy style. I don't know what's been happening to my socks lately. They keep either disappearing or just like getting holes in them. So I was like, whatever, I'm just going to get some socks. So the last thing I want to show you, I have um, a selection of magazines, right? And what I'm planning on doing, not in this video because we'd be here too long. Um, I'm going to do a separate video um, of like a magazine haul show and tell etc um so first of all i got cosmopolitan for two quid bargain um, and you know what i love about this edition is that there's lots of like body positive stuff in this edition like you can see the curvy girls on the front there and you know look when i was younger um you know a teenager and i'd read all these magazines like just 17 ms etc there was never girls like this on the cover like being honest i'm not being horrible i'm just being honest like 
So, you know, I've always been like a plus size girl and I always used to grow up thinking like, oh, you know, we're never good enough to be on the covers of magazines. Always the really super skinny, super beautiful. And now, like, you know, plus size girls not only getting in, you know, modeling and stuff, they're doing like front cover things. Like, how cool is that? Like a little while ago, magazines started to feature fashion with bigger girls, um, which is great, but they were never on the front cover still. But now... We've changed all that and they're, they're on the front cover. And I, I think this is great. I think it's real, um, you know, good for, for people. Bo body positive stuff is always good. You should always love who, who you are um, and be proud of yourself and be your size, whatever size you are. So, yeah, really happy with that. And I've got some, I had a little sneaky look the other day. Uh, the other day. <laughs> what? I had a sneaky look before, like, just to see what's kind of occurring in the magazine. Um, and there's some... Um, what's called stuff like book stuff in here recommending books that are coming out this year so I was like oh and they've got like some fashion makeup I'm just you know I get bored sitting around the house we're in lockdown again in the UK and as much as I love reading my books I also love reading magazines and just looking through and stuff anyway so that's that one and um, then I've got a, a coin magazine here for Nathan so Nathan collects coins and I collect stamps we are both a couple of nerds and we're happy with that. <laughs> but I actually really enjoy looking at his coins as well, actually. Like, I get not as involved as him, but I do enjoy looking at the different coins he gets. And especially when they're, like, really old and, like, it's, it's just something fun about looking at old coins and stuff. So, yeah, this is, like, a coin news, coin collector magazine. So he's got that. And then from um local corner shop, I picked up Pokemon. Yeah. Pokemon magazine, I get it every month now, <laughs> four quid, but I love it. I really look forward to it. And sometimes you get like um, like trading cards with it. It's a free gift. But this month, no trading cards. However, 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 uh, there is this. Look, paint your own Pokemon. How cool is this? Uh, Nathan has already booked Charmander. I mean, he's not going to do it. I'm going to do it. Just dropped a minute there. Sorry. But he loves Charmander, so it's all good. Um, but I'm actually going to do a video um, on my... ASMR channel, I think, actually. Yeah, I'll do it on the ASMR channel where I'm going to paint Pikachu. So obviously I'll use the yellow, the red on his cheeks, uh, in the mouth kind of area, and the black paint I can put in the eyes and stuff. So yeah, I'm going to do like a, you know, relaxing video of painting Pikachu. Um, so that'd be quite fun. But yeah, there's like little stories inside and like stickers and stuff. There's Charmander, not Charmander, Charizard. Trying to remember all the names of the Pokemon. But I've really got into Pokemon lately, so uh, loving this. Anyway, so that's that. And then from Poundland, the last two things I've got to show you. They do like old editions of magazines uh, at a cheaper price, right? Bargain. So I picked up Animals and You. By the way, these are... <laughs> These are for kids, so don't be like, oh my god, they're for kids. Yeah, I know they're for kids. I'm not fooled. Uh, I'm just a big kid sometimes, right? I like cute stuff. So this is Animals and You, way too cute. And I think this must have been like the Halloween edition because they've all got like like Halloween costumes on and pumpkins and stuff. But you get all these cute little freebies as well, including this bookmark. Look, Dogger Yoga. Look, can you see the little legs at the bottom? I don't know if you can see that. Um, I think there's a little bat inside as well. Um, yeah, just sparkly stuff. But um, yeah, and you get posters as well. So <laughs> look at that dog. Love that. So yeah, I don't know. Look, it's two quid. It, it keeps me happy, all right? And then for a fiver, which you might think is a bit steep, but there is so much in it. You get like two magazines and you also get, look, sparkly pink slime, because I love slime. And there is just like loads in here. There's like a fluffy headband. There's a beautiful little like cute bracelet, like pastel colors and a heart. Um, yeah, oh, here we go. Look, all these gifts, look, packed with posters. Map your moods. Oh my, at the moment it's not great. <laughs> Um, but yeah, so what I'm going to be doing, if you look out for it really soon, I'll probably film it tomorrow or something, um, a magazine haul. So I'll, you know, show the magazines again like I've just done now, but in more kind of detail. And then I'm going to open these two like mystery gift ones and then you can see what I get inside. So look out for that. It fits on something you would like to watch. Um, but anyway, yeah, I think that's the end of the video. I'm going to stop it now because I'll just ramble on and on otherwise. But listen, thank you so much to all of you for watching the channel. I really appreciate it. Um, please click like, comment, share, subscribe, smash the bell to all notifications. Um, if you want to come and check out my other channel, as I said, it's Minx Laura 123 ASMR. Um, social media, 
at MinxLaura123 on Twitter and Instagram is, yeah, you've guessed it, MinxLaura123. Um, that's about it, really. Just, yeah, thank you for watching. You're all amazing. Well, apart from the trolls, you're not, you're not amazing. You're just idiots. But, you know, look, I keep getting the troll comments again. And I know it's probably like the same person because you can just tell that their writing style is exactly the same. The words they use and the grammar, like, is obviously the same person. And my message to you is I say every single time when I talk about trolls, if you don't like me, and, you know, that's cool, I'm an acquired taste, you either love me or hate me, that's fine. Um, if you hate me, dislike me, whatever, don't watch. Like, that, as simple as that. Like, you know, don't give me all these nasty comments and say this about me and that. about. Just don't watch me. Simples. All right. Okay. Have a good day, everyone. And uh, <laughs> tell me what you like in the comments section the best. What did you like the best out of this shopping haul? All right, everyone. And don't forget, really quickly, if you want to buy a bicycle pizza cutter, it's going to be on eBay. Go buy it. Go buy it. It's a bargain. <laughs> All right, everyone. Take care. Bye, boy.